Hi my little brushflies, welcome back to my channel, Brushfly MUA. If you're new here, I'm Mercedes, the face behind Brushfly MUA. If you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're not, welcome back. Welcome back to Vlogmas, where I have my current makeup or product fails. So I'm hoping this is going to be a cute, quick, sharp video. So let's jump straight in. So the first one is a face sticker set, which I got from Hobbycraft. I wore this on Halloween. It was awful. Um, the stickers didn't really stick very well. I ended up having to use eyelash glue to proper stick them to my face. The gems were very sharp and dug in. They didn't like sit on like the points they were meant to very well. So I wouldn't buy this again next year. And I didn't really rate my Halloween makeup look. I wanted something really quick and easy because, you know, like I've got kids. I was getting them ready to go to Halloween. I didn't really have time to get myself all dolled up for Halloween. But, yeah, this one, I wasn't impressed. Next up, I have a Revolution Relove Roll Baby Lip Oil, which I got from their advent calendar very recently. You wasn't meant to get this. You were meant to get a brow product, but... They'd obviously run out with mine, so put this in instead. I like the actual lip oil. What is a fail for me is the packaging. So it does seem kind of bougie and posh, but I just find like the actual roller, it doesn't give me enough product. Like it does, you know, give you some product, but when I'm applying it, I want more. I want to feel that product on my lips. I don't want to apply a small amount and then not really feel it. Like I want to feel the nourishment there. I don't want to feel nothing. So for me, well, I like the smell and it does smell absolutely amazing. It's in the scent or shade papaya. It just, it doesn't do what I want it to do. And it is actually, you know, just done that um it is quite heavy and very sticky i don't remember it being that heavy and sticky but it was a few weeks ago i used it so maybe it was really heavy and sticky and that's another reason why i put it in here maybe but i know damn right that the packaging for me was just a big turn off it's not it's not very good i don't like the packaging and maybe I didn't even like the sticky gloopiness. It feels like when I'm touching it on my hand, it feels like a really thick lip gloss. Maybe that's why I didn't like it either. Who knows? Okay, next up, I have these from XX Revolution. They are the Matrix liquid lips and lip gloss. So we have Trim and Neo. These are both the black shades and they are flipping awful. So... I wore these on Halloween. I was eating lipstick the whole time I had them on. I put them on and then I thought, yeah, I'll go trick-or-treating with the kids. They completely bled out my lip line. It literally looked like I'd just smeared lipstick everywhere. They peeled off. It was going into my mouth. It just felt all clumpy and gloopy. I really did not like the texture. I really did not like the formula. And I have also, in another video, just decluttered the red one which was Mr Anderson. These are absolutely crap. They're rubbish. I don't like them. I've said it before that XX Revolution is not my favourite Revolution brand. I don't think their products are very good. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend these at all. And the funny thing is, is I've also put the Matrix eyeshadow palette into my fails as well. So this is Trinity Luxe. Now I think the first time I used it, I did like it. I think I used the more pinky berry tone shades in here and I was very impressed. This time round, I tried to use it in a recent shot, my stash, although I, f I filmed it and then I lost the footage. So I didn't do like an updated shot, my stash. I'll have to do one very soon. But I used it and I'll see if I have a photo of a look I created and I was just not very happy with it. I think the formula of this is very lacklustre. I think at the time I got it, I was just excited because it was Matrix themed and I did enjoy it. But now that I've had a play around with it a few more times and used different shades in the palette, I'm not impressed. I don't like this. I'm 
pretty sure that I'm probably going to be decluttering it very soon. Maybe I will have to do like a Christmas declutter video, but yeah, it's very much in my fails at the minute. The next one I'm going to put into my fails is actually one I just tried today. And it's the eye look I have on my eye. This is the number seven Dazzle and Glow face and eye palette. And uh, yeah, I, I got it when I spent so much at number seven. You got this for free. It's worth £35. Now, it's like a half fail and a half favourite. I really like the highlighter and the blush. They are amazing. They are beautiful. Such a great formula. Love them. Stunning. The eyeshadows, on the other hand, did not really work for me. I found them quite lacklustre. Like this shade here did not appear at all when I used it. This one here looks kind of a bit matte in the pan, but when you apply it, it's very metallic. This one... I thought it was going to be like a beautiful Charlotte Tilbury inspired pinky glittery shade or shimmery shade. It crumbled all over my face and then when I used the setting spray like it's kind of still stayed in place but it kind of looks a bit crusty and crispy so yeah it has to go in my fails. I'm not overly impressed with this even though I do like the blush and the highlight I'm not impressed with it as a whole because the eyeshadows which is such a shame because I love number seven but um not for me. Next up I have an iHeart Revolution Cranberry Jelly Highlighter Duo. So I got this last year from a Christmas gift set and I think I actually really enjoyed this last year. I pulled it out recently because I was going through my highlighters and I wanted something different to wear. This one shows up so much texture on my skin. I don't know whether it's because I am in my 30s, my skin is starting to age, so maybe my skin just does not agree with this now compared to last year. Maybe it's just showing up texture more now than before. But yeah, this was not a win for me. Definitely a fail. Then I have a sample of a Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now they have a different one of this, which is like a, a Hydra one. I really enjoy. Really, really good. This one, the Double Wear, because I have really dry skin, and it's very hormonal it can be really like super dehydrated dry this just looks so cakey and drying on my skin it just does not look good um you know so if you love this that's great but for me and my skin type it just does not work so yeah it's it's in my fails i tried it the other week um you know for me personally it's not my preference it's not something i enjoy but someone else might enjoy it if they have a different skin type to mine, so yeah. Next up I have this. So this is a brow soap from iHeart Revolution. It's the chocolate brow soap and it smells like chocolate. It looks like a little sardine tin. The smell is amazing by the way, but I don't like this product. It makes my brows look like I have dandruff. I have used this quite a few times now. Every time I've used it, my brows just do not look good. They literally look like they, like I said, like they have dandruff. So I do not like this product. I was sent it in PR because I reviewed their Revolutionary Love Advent Calendar. I was missing the brow soap that that was meant to come with. So they sent me this one as a thank you for, for your review and sorry about not having certain products in it. Whilst I appreciate being sent stuff in PR, this one was just not for me. It didn't work for me. So, yeah. And the last fail. No, it's not the last fail. I do have one more. I've not put it where I want it. So this is a Super Feel lip liner from Revolution Relove. It's like quite a red shade. This is awful. Um, I was using it the other day to match up with a lipstick. It just didn't draw very well. It's like it, it's not, it's got pigment to it, but I just found it very hard to draw onto my lips. And then I like to fill my lips in, then put the lipstick over the top. And I just found it to be very tuggy, very pulley. My lips were quite dry. So, you know, to do that, it then just aggravates them and irritates them more. So yeah, I didn't really like this. It wasn't a comfortable formula. I wouldn't use it again, so yeah. 
Okay, now and lastly, I have a Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Cotton Candy. I did find this in TK Maxx, but it was unopened, untampered with. I know TK Maxx can be a bit hit and miss for that. I find this oxidises really, really badly. Um, I'll have to do a video on it at some point and maybe I'll wear it and see if I can show you guys because I just found this, it makes my skin look awful. So I'll put like a really nice foundation on, I'll have a really nice base going on and I'll put this on just to sort of conceal, maybe do a bit of under eye stuff and by the end of it I look so cakey, dry and orange. It's ridiculous. Now the shade Cotton Candy, like... For me, when I take it out of the tube, it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks okay for my skin tone. And when I first apply it, I think, yeah, you look beautiful, you look nice, yeah. And then, as the day goes on, it just gets more orange, more orange, more orange, and I look like a tangerine. So this, for me, is a big time fail. I don't like it, I'm probably going to end up decluttering it definitely not for me. So yeah, I'm glad I found it and mentioned it in this video. So that is all my product and makeup fails for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!